So we're here in Frankfurt at the Pro Lion Sound Show and we're joined with by Jack from Pixel Hue. So what we've got here, so we've got one of your event controllers here. In essence, this is going to be the heart and soul of any stage production in a modern era. Do you want to just quickly walk us through a little bit about what the actual potential and capabilities are of this device? Yeah, actually here, this one is a big event console. So for this event console, here I have a large screen, so it's 43 inch screens. But for this large screens, we can show two software at the same time. So one software is from our video switcher. So one software is from our media server. So when we do the event, so media server and the video switcher is a very necessary product. So we can use one machine to control the video switcher and the media server at the same time, such like this. We press this button. So here, video switcher, layout will be ready. And for here, the media content will also be ready. Just press this button. So the content and the layout will be changed at the same time. This is much more convenient for using. So when we do the event, so before someone stand here, stand in front of media server to control the media server. Someone to stand in front of the console to control the video switcher. But for us, so just the one person stand here, you can control the video switcher and the media server at the same time. This one will be changed the job. Very, very convenient and very, very easy. Yeah. It's a really good idea integrating the two. And one thing that comes out to me almost immediately is how intuitive the software looks. Yeah. So actually, so here is, uh, for example, this one is our video switcher. So you can see here. So first, this is for the back, back side of our machine. So you can see how many input card we have and how many output card we have and uh, what kind of signal connected to the connected to our device if you press this connector you also can see the content from the input and the output if you want to adjustment something you can back here just one large screen you can see a lot of different things and change it it's very easy and also for our software it's very very easy to operate so first you just change the input and the output resolutions and the second thing is just right here and the change how many screens you want to set up and how big screens you want to set up. So for example, if you want to set up more screens, we just drop the inputs back here, drop output back here, so you will get the big canvas back here. So finish, second step, just back here. You can, see, you can drop some layer to here. I wanted to ask you about the connectivity. Yeah. Maybe look at the back of the server and, and yeah, have a look, sure. look at that and see what, what can we connect into this? Uh, actually, so for our media server, th yeah. this one also have a special design. This yeah. one also is a modular design. Yeah. It's never see this kind of machine, but this is our first uh, to do this kind of machine. So input also modular design, output also modular design. Mm -hmm. So for the media server, so you can change different connector. So for other brands, the media server only have a DP output. We can change the DP to HDMI, and also we can change the DP output to the 12 GSD, just to change the output card. Yeah. So if you want to get some video source in, you just connect some input card, you also can get captured some signal. And it looks like you can change that on the fly. Yeah, yeah. it's a modern design. You yeah. can change all the inputs and all the outputs to the different car. Yeah. And, the, and you don't need to reset or anything else. You can just pull that out and then, you know, to, well, you don't really need to uh, uh, reboot or anything like that when you're Yeah, pulling. yeah, don't, you don't need. You just check what connector you want to use in. Just change the, your, yeah. your car, go inside. Yeah. So this machine will be working. Yeah. Brilliant. And so what, what I want to talk about codecs. You can do obviously HDMI, DP, uh, SDI. Yeah. But uh, one, one thing that really caught our eye is obviously uh, the implementation of 2110. Yeah. And I'm presuming in the future IPMX is also yes. coming. Yes. And uh, actually, so here I have uh, one machine. This is actually an amazing machine. Mm. So for the video switcher, this is the uh, first one of the video switchers supposed the 2110. So you can see here. Here is our new car. This is a 2110 car. So for this car, you can see here have eight connector. So four is main, four is backup, yeah. and each connector we can support 25 gigabit. Wow. So now, if you provide one 4K of the 2110 source, this one, one connector can support it. And in the future, when we made the firmware upgrade, this one also can support IP Max. So one connector can get more video source just for one connector. 
And I also noticed you've got Dante enabled here. How many how many channels there? Yeah, this Dante is for 64 channels. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. And but one of the other things is um, one thing that we we kind of went together is what I liked is about the master clock and being able to yeah. use it between the lighting, the video, and the audio. Yeah. Can Can you walk us through that as well? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So actually, if you do the event, so this event obviously have the lighting and. Uh, and the audio together. So here we also have the one function. So for this console, here have a timeline. So you can, this one machine can generate the timeline to the audio device and to the light device. We can lock the audio and the video device and the light device at the same time to change at the same time. So that's fantastic. So you've got everything all synchronized all in one place. So it's a yeah. one stop shop, really. Yeah. This becomes the heart and soul of a production. And as you were saying, you've reduced the number of operators. Yeah. Uh, who can uh, who you need to have a large scale production like this? But let's say someone's not got as large a scale production. I'm yeah. right in saying you've got a couple of slightly smaller devices yeah. just over here for different scales of production yeah, right. here. Right. So here also I have a smaller device because that one is for big show. So if you have some smaller show, so you want to find the small consoles. This one is uh, also available product. So this console also can suppose stream uh, support the timeline. And also, if you want this machine to control two devices, it's also available. Just use one button to switch. They also can control two software at the same time. And uh, actually, here all the function is the same with that one, but he, this one is a small size. But for this one, also have a one advantage function. This one can fold the screens. So after this screen folder, so they will get a small size. It's easy to carry because for the rental, so the machine also will be moved a lot of different place. This is easy to move in. Yeah. So you've got a lot of the sort of same sort of functionality you've got in its bigger brother over there, yeah. but in a lot more compact size that's easy and a lot more portable yeah. to travel right. with. So let's say if someone wants to learn more about your equipment or maybe yeah. uh, utilize it in their own productions, yeah. where do they need to go to find out more? Uh, actually, so you means for the future product? So if someone wants to buy your products yeah. or wants to use them themselves, where yeah. can they go to find out more information? Ah, uh, yeah. So please go to our website, pixel.com. You will find more information from our website. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Okay. Well, oh. I've got one question for you yeah, because this is the most important part. Yeah. Obviously, this is uh, an area that's dominated by two other really big players. Yeah. The kicker here yeah. is the price point. Yeah. You've got all of this functionality, you've got yeah. really good integration, really yeah. good software. Yeah. Talk us through about the price point in comparison to some of your competitors. Yeah, actually, so for the price point, so our products, all the functions have a high performance, but we got the same price. Maybe a lawyer or something, but I think we have a good product, good qualities, and good functions, and a good price. Yeah. Lovely, thank you very much. Okay, welcome. Great, welcome. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.